I'm at my peak, I practice about an hour, an hour and a half a day. And probably I'm actually gameplay of playing with my friends. It could be about like another 12 hours. I've seen my fair share of like controllers flying through the air. I think I'm either the second or first best here, depending on the day apparently. A lot of them actually don't like it because they feel like they should win, and then when they lose, it's just devastating. Alright, so here we are. I'm entering the safari zone of Smash Brothers players. Smash Brothers is one of the most prolific franchises in all of esports history. So we're gonna see what it's like for these people who play it all day, every day. They live and breathe it. Maybe they don't, maybe it's just a hobby. We're gonna ask them and find out. So without further ado, let's enter the fray. I just do it. You gotta, I just do. You gotta jump down and come back up and do it. Oh, yeah. Grab a controller and jump in. I've been playing Smash all my life, ever since I was a kid, but competitively I started around um, mid-2015 and I've been exposed to competitive scene like much earlier, around like 2014, 2013. 2001? No, good. Yeah, I've been playing since then. I actually got, uh, yeah, I got the GameCube and I got like Super Monkey Ball and like Super Mario Sunshine on release, so that was the start of gaming for me. As long as I can remember, my mom had a Super Nintendo. Sometimes she let me play it, and then I've been playing Smash since about 2008. Uh, games in general since I was like a little kid. Uh, Esports in particular, for about seven years I started with StarCraft 2. And uh, then I started playing Smash when I got to school. I met some people my freshman year who started playing and they got me into it. Video games since I was three, Smash Brothers since Melee came out. My parents were very lenient. I think it's awesome, <laughs> to put it short. It's definitely much different than other sports, like uh, just or traditional sports in general. It has uh, some similar aspects, but it's almost like this whole new culture that's starting to emerge in the 21st century. It's just so much different than anything else. I think there's a lot of potential for esports. Well, I, I see separately the Smash community and the esports community, actually, because on some aspects, I don't see the uh, Smash community or Smash Up Brothers Esports team going anywhere, but you know when you have big companies sponsoring things like League of Legends, Dota, Overwatch, there's such a big potential for it to become you know more of a spectator sport than it is. I think it's great. Like some, if people can uh, make a living doing something they love, even if it's you know a video game, like all the power to them. It's a growing industry. I think it's something you know that's starting to be taken more seriously, and I think it deserves to. It's something that you know takes a lot of skill. People put in. You know, tons of hours. Professional gamers in general, you know, practice as many as like 12 hours a day, so. So esports in general, I like it. I think some communities get more attention than others, like I use popular ones like League. But, um, I don't know, like Smash has always just been a really nice community. Like, it, it literally was a bunch of people who came together and made a documentary about the Smash Brothers community, and it just blew up. Everybody loved it. I do turn in, tune into majors, for mainly Smash, I don't. Pr the only other esport I really would turn into is Street Fighter, and I do watch, uh, I used to watch a lot on a regular basis. Yeah, I watch it, mostly on Twitch and stuff. Twitch? Twitch. Surprisingly enough, they streamed the top 16 Super uh, Smash 4 on Disney XD. I've been to multiple. Um, I actually won one last semester. The big one that I go to every year is down in Virginia. It's a three-day convention. There's like live music for like playing video game music, which I've always thought was so cool. And it's just really interesting. Oh yeah, I've been to a bunch, um, mostly local, like in the DC or like Philadelphia area. But uh, it's a great time. It's it's cool because a lot of the relationships you build with people are you know online through these online communities, playing competitively. Um, so it's really cool to like meet these people that you originally met online in person. Yeah, I used to go uh, pretty regularly. Like the last few years, but I haven't been able to because of school. I say it's a pretty good time. We've got a bunch of people there shouting over a video game. Like, what's not to love? I went to um, MLG Anaheim back in 2013, I think, and that was for Melee. And I also have been to the three Super Smash Con big tournaments, but that was mostly just to like experience it and to like help them out because it's a small drive. I've been to many competitions, both local and even uh, 
Super Majors. Uh, the biggest one I had was over a thousand man tournament at Super Smash Con. They are huge events. There are people, TVs everywhere, and there's just so many people that you never even meet before. But like, just because like these people are strangers doesn't mean they are strangers to you. Like, if you feel like you've known them, even though like you never met all these people before, and it's it's really amazing. Just get together and play the game that you love.